up is the comedian who won Wednesday's semi-final. Every single time we've seen him, this man has slagged off the judges, something rotten. And personally, I don't think it's funny. I think it's absolutely hilarious. More of that, please. It's Robert White! Hello, my name's Robert White. I'm 41 years old and I'm from Sussex. David Wallums is obsessed with his heterosexual pretending. <laughs> I never thought I'd get to the final of Britain's Got Talent. Robert White! I, I was totally shocked. I wouldn't have voted for me. I've been doing comedy for 13 years, but last September I actually gave up to become a teacher. And the reason I did Britain's Got Talent is I wanted to prove to my mum that I tried everything. And now people are saying that they actually think I'm funny, which is very, very nice. I've had a lot of nice messages on social media. OMG, I absolutely love Robert White. I hope he's in the finals. Just a brilliant act. That's from my mum. Now I'm in the final, I need to win the show. It, it would prove so much to me, and it would mean so much to me. It'd be like a Hollywood movie, uh, a finale ending to a life which has been all over the place. <laughs> it would be ridiculously overwhelming, and such an honour. Hello, thank you. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you for having me back. Um, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you indeed. Um, no, no, I do you know it's very, very nerve wracking because I did so well the last time and there's so many amazing acts and also because um, it's the final and I thought my boyfriend, my real boyfriend, not Dave, my boyfriend was going to be here to support me. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it due, due to the fact that, that he, he dumped me um, <laughs> in December. Um, <laughs> 2010. So, um, <laughs> by email. Um, yes, it was it was a group email. And, um, <laughs> you know, I only do that joke because I, I can pretend I've had a boyfriend. And, um, <laughs> and the other reason is because people say I'm sort of like uh, inspirational for autism, and it's sort of if, well, basically <laughs> for those. For those who don't know what Asperger's syndrome is, it basically it means, it means I'm better than you. And <laughs> seven claps. <laughs> Twelve. Um, Twenty-four. Eighty-nine. There you go. Um, and, 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 and also, it means for me that I'm actually very good at music. I do come from a musical house. Yes, I live in a flat. <laughs> Uh, when, I, when I was young, my favourite instrument was this. Alicia, you're the musical one. Can you, can you tell me what instrument this is, please? <laughs> Anyone? Oh, oh, Trumpet. Oh, Trumpet. No, no, it's a keyboard. And, um, <laughs> and music actually helped me uh, come out because t today isn't actually just the final. It's also the anniversary of my coming out. <laughs> Yes, um, do this. this. This time last Wednesday. Um, <laughs> and, and people say that for, for the final you should do something different, you should do something the same. I don't know. I've done enough songs about the panel and there's no more jokes left. So, um, what, no, so no, what I've decided to do is I, I want to do a song for specific people. So I need someone who, who's like uh, very old. Oh, Simon, there we go. Um, <laughs> I need two ladies. Well, there we go. And um, I need s someone h hiding the fact he's gay. So, <laughs> so, right, so, <laughs> so for the um, the, uh, the the third and final and last time a song about the panel. This is to do with uh, coming out my, 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 to my mum. Here we go. <clears throat> Mum, you should have known I was gay from my school report. Stood for hours in the showers, never doing sports. <laughs> Drink a cup of tea, take some valley, and I'm almost as gay as David. <laughs> this is a song for my mum today. I've got a song for your mum to follow. A song for David's mum. Your son will come out to my... My mum goes, Robert, you're not gay. Gays have fashion senses. You look like Donald Trump having a fight in Marks and Spencer's. <laughs> Your clothes are second hand with a busted zipper and they're all coming off like a leash of the stripper. No. <laughs>
good, that went down well. I thought the reaction might be bad. Like that grinder date where I accidentally met my dad. Um, I go, Mum, I'm gay. I'm sorry, it's hard to take. I hide my bottom in a cake so someone licks it by mistake. <laughs> You say I should be straight and have ruined your plan, but I can't marry Amanda Holden, even though she looks like a man. Oh. Oh, no, even though she looks like a man to hold on. <laughs> My mum goes, Robert, you're not gay. Gays dance better than you. When you dance, you remind me of Anne Whittaker having a poo. <laughs> but do what you want, there's no more waiting. What about Simon Cowell? He's the perfect age for dating. <laughs> Silver Fox, how, how old are you, Simon? No, uh, do you know what? I, I forgot. <laughs> there we are, all those old, old timers. Can't remember with Alzheimer's. No, um, <laughs> I, I, I've been told earlier you're 58. That's really great. The perfect age for dating. <laughs> Carbon dating. Um, <laughs> Who am I kidding? Simon was never my favourite. The only one I ever wanted on Britain's Got Talent was David. <laughs> careers left after tonight, actually. Uh, you know what? You are such a funny man. You... When you were on the other night, I don't think I've laughed so much for years and years and years, and you would be a fantastic winner of Britain's Got Talent. You are so likeable. <laughs> You're a natural. I absolutely love you. Have you got any spare jumpers? Because you're rocking them, and really, there was about a hundred on the screen. You are insanely funny. I just love everything about you. Well done. <laughs> what, what, what I love is that every time we've seen you, you have gone up and up and up the ladder. There's been fresh jokes, new material. You've never harped back. It's current. It's funny. It's you know, it's that thing where you don't have enough time to laugh because the next one's yeah. coming. I just adore you. <laughs> You know what, Robert? A lot of people, I would imagine, when they're making up their mind with an act like yours, if you, to come into the final, maybe I should just tone things down a little. Let's not be controversial. And you've gone, forget that. I'll be even more controversial and rude than I was the first yes. time. And that's why I love you. You are so funny right on the edge in terms of are you going to really push it this time and of course you did but that's why i think you as david said there is a real chance you could win this and, and you haven't changed it from day one even at our expense i'll try again if you want to send robert to the royal variety performance all the details are on screen now for him and me can to the last half has finished ladies and gentlemen robert white He's alone to himself. Time for a quick break now, but we'll be right back with this year's wildcard act, B Positive Choir, and the one and only Lost Voice Guy. See for those guys in a few minutes.